They rang the little electric bell and waited. She flashed him a smile and his heart thumped. Oh, how she played with his senses, with his mind. It was almost cruel how dearly he wished to take her and kiss her playful smile, to embrace all that energy and colour and life. Yet Roddy's stern face interrupted his flight of fancy. The wrestling match intensified. No, he couldn't do it, couldn't. Love her, yes. Enjoy her, of course. But could he trust Lily Temple? No. The notion swept over him with rapid calm. So why, God? Why have you embedded her in my heart? He closed his eyes, anguish twisting inside. Then the notion settled on him, thick and comfortable. I didn't ask you to trust her. I asked you to trust me. A rush of remorse, then of freedom, swept through his soul. He remembered the man in the cave, the words he'd spoken concerning her. She was searching desperately for the gardener, for her father. But as the man had pointed out, it was not the earthly one her heart truly sought. Her search was bigger, more significant than that. She was longing for God with every fibre of her being, even if she didn't know it. And that meant God was searching for her, drawing her to himself, calling out in a way that she was compelled to answer, and Peter's heart lightened to the point of delight. She was precious to God. She was in his grasp, or very nearly, and he had urged Peter toward her. Peter looked upon her afresh with a reckless, unbridled affection taking in her face. Her bright eyes and piquant features, that little rosebud of a mouth that might say any number of surprising things. This, yes, this is what God intended to happen. There was no one else like her, not the entire world over. When she smiled, that private little smile meant only for him, it loosed something in him, 